what's up youtube this is your boy g back on another video so today we're gonna open we're gonna unbox a new controller here that omelette gaming sent us this is the omelette switch pro plus joy pad controller now shout out to our friends by omelette gaming for sending this one to me i really love the looks if you notice it just reminds me like pikachu I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that, but it just reminds me of Pikachu, right? Well, let's go ahead and uh, run around on the box here. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm gashing over the box. It really looks good. Okay. In front, you will see the model there, Amelot Gaming. Again, inside, Switch Pro plus Joypad Controller, Nintendo Switch Joypad Controller, Thunderbolt. Okay, that's the color. Now, of course, this is wireless mode, easy connectivity sense motion so it also has that uh, gyroscope you know movement tracking programmable buttons because it's pro haptic feedback which is pretty interesting and then of course type c uh, connection it's already included there now it looks really good there this is just a limited color edition but they also i believe they also released like a transparent one which also looks super dope so check that out i'm going to put the link on the description if you want to check them out anti-friction thumbsticks active turbo mode a screenshot buttons of course wake up mode uh, turns on nintendo switch console easily now this is pretty good it can turn on nintendo switch from this controller because not all controllers can do that multicolor rgb ring crystallized button dual vibration adjustment haptic feedback gain ergonomic shape programmable back button so like what they did there programmable easy connectivity and of course again sense motion so omelette.store for their website omelette gaming on facebook and follow them on instagram at omelette gaming let's go ahead and check this out Ooh, so it's black inside man unboxing experience so far is pretty neat oh that is super yellow holy smoke that is very very cute what do you call an egg who likes to go on safari an explorer <laughs> okay that's pretty good so there's a usb cable already included usb a to type c but let's go ahead and check the start of the show for the box itself there's nothing else but let's go ahead and uh, set this aside first and check the actual controller wow it's substantially lighter than i anticipated but man that color just screams pikachu right like holy smokes the color is so good right it's very very vibrant wow i love it all right let me go around the controller here so again this is a joy con right so essentially you can remove this we'll get that into the second but let's start from the bottom here you do have two usb ports right both of them are usb type c and that's the one that uh we caught earlier you can charge them at the same time right put it like so and plug them in a usb connection here so you can charge them at the same time make sure that you have batteries on both of them from the left side you know it's like a nintendo layout xbox right so the, the controller is here or the joystick is in the upper left corner pretty good um a, a little a little bit of resistance which i like right it's not as soft or as easy as others although it's making a little bit of sounds if you notice the four directional button which is really good right i like the feeling of the directional button very tactile and you can feel them it's not mushy or anything it's actually it's an actual button that you can actually feel now from the bottom left corner so you do have the t here which is the turbo mode again if you want to um, specify or set a turbo you have screenshots as you can see and then you have um, another one here it's the home when i go to home menu or whatnot basically those are your uh, quick buttons here and then in the upper you of course have the minus and the plus of the traditional nintendo controller nintendo switch controller you notice here there's like a light bar which i assume will light once it's plugged in we'll check that out so that's pretty good again this is the crystallized button really good in the hands um again a little bit louder than what i anticipated or what i like for from others i guess it's not that bad but yeah so right joystick here again pretty low um, but it's very accessible, you know, if you want to control the cameras and whatnot. And this is for your main character. What I like are the triggers, right? They're really good. So the triggers, because this is a Nintendo Switch controller, they're not analog um, triggers, you know, like, again, like other PlayStation and Xbox and whatnot. They're just a buttons for Nintendo Switch, but they really feel good. I can tell you that they're really, really good in feeling and they're very quiet. If you notice 
they're super quiet for whatever reason. And then again, you have the button there, the left and the right buttons versus the trigger. They're even louder than the triggers. Now again, from the back, you have additional paddle buttons here, uh, labeled ML and MR, of course, um, additional buttons that you have there, uh, left and right. So you can definitely configure that via this modes here, right? You have little buttons, M and M, and then those buttons below, you can, if you want to like map, map a certain button here, you can press that, hold it, press the trigger, and then press the button that you're kind of like wanting to mimic, right? They have um, other controllers like this one. I have an omelet controller here that they also sent before. Pretty much the same. So you would notice there's an ML and MR button there, but you use those to configure these buttons, right? You just press them, press the button that you want to mimic, press them again, and then activate the buttons. Before we turn it on, just a quick comparison on other controls that I have, just for the looks. So if, again, this is the new Omelette Gaming uh, Switch Pro Plus Joypad controller. We also have the Omelette uh, Pro controller here that they had before. This is like um, Joypad, the one that you can remove. This is their main joystick or controller. It's just a traditional one. But this one is really designed for Nintendo Switch like OLED, right? Nintendo Switch, the, the original one. So you can split them open and um, put it on the actual like tablet or so this is um playstation dual sense if you want to check that out for size comparison that is humongous and again this is the 8-bit uh dough that i use mainly for my steam deck now let's check really quick for their um weight right so you have an idea how heavy they are dual sense without anything just a traditional dual sense controller and that weighs about 282 grams. Let me weight the Omelet Pro uh, Joy-Con right away. That is about 213 grams. Their controller that you can also use on your Steam Deck is about 203. So this is actually lighter than this. And the 8-bit though, Ultimate, weighs about 234. DualSense is heavier, or heaviest rather, followed by Nintendo or uh, the 8-bit Doe, right? 8-bit Doe Ultimate, and then this Joy-Con from Omelette Gaming and then their other controller for the Omelette Gaming. Like what I said, this is Joy-Con essentially, so that's definitely removable. You just have to swipe it downwards, you know, this middle part, so this one is upwards, and then like so. If you dock your Nintendo Switch on a television, you can still use this, you know, multiplayer, split screen, things like that. Now, what I like about it is it's very, very good in the hands, right? Even though they're um, kind of like split like this, they're very ergonomic, you know, unlike the Nintendo Switch. So they're very ergonomic here. You can you can certainly hold it. They, they kind of like, like Steam Deck, you know, very, very fat on the bottom there. So your grip will be good. Right? I love that about it. So you can certainly game like this without any problem. All right, well, sad to report guys that this doesn't seem to work with other than Nintendo Switch, right? OLED or Nintendo Switch, not the light one because it has no pairing. And of course this is Joy-Con. So, I mean, it's obvious it's advertised to work for Nintendo Switch only. So as soon as you plug it to Nintendo Switch, it's gonna pair automatically. And you can even use it wireless mode and it's going to work exactly like a traditional Joy-Con, right? The only difference is that there's a really awesome grip here, which the Joy-Con um, miss, right? Which the Joy-Con doesn't have. So it's really ergonomics, but unfortunately I cannot pair it. I cannot use it on my Steam Deck, on my PC, even plugging it via USB to my Steam Deck. I'm um, so just charging but it doesn't communicate as a controller. So that's a little bit bummer, but I mean, it's kind of expected. This is again, Joy-Con exclusively for Nintendo Switch only. If you want to use an Omelette controller for your Steam Deck, you can actually grab their other controller here. This is the, the Omelette uh, Gaming as well, Pro Plus that they have, but this one works really great with um, Steam Deck and I'm, I'm using this all the time. Like I'm using this every day. They're pretty much the same, right? So this is for Steam Deck, for PC, for anything, but of course it's for Nintendo Switch as well, but it can work with those stuff. Well, this one is just exclusive for 
Nintendo Switch, right? This Pikachu controller. Sorry, it's a, it's a Thunderbolt um, Amulet Pro Plus joypad, but I'm gonna call it Pikachu controller from here on. If you have a Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch OLED, you know, the original Nintendo Switch, this is pretty cheap. So for example, you're experiencing drifts already or problem or especially cramping, right? Hand pain on the default uh, ergonomics of Nintendo Switch. You can grab this and use it, but if you're planning to use it elsewhere, I'm not gonna recommend this because again, this is just exclusive for Nintendo Switch. If you're looking for a controller that you want to use with your Steam Deck, with your PC, with other stuff, might as well grab their old one or their previous one, their traditional controller here, because this works perfectly. Even the, look at this, even this um, D-pad is you know super, super responsive. You can hear it right now responding. Uh, it's connected to my Steam Deck, but yeah, that works really great if you're gonna use it elsewhere, but for Nintendo Switch exclusive connection, joypad, use this because it has gyro, right? It has sensor. The only thing that is missing here is the NFC, right? So you don't have that fancy stuff, but you can adjust the vibration here. There's like a vibration buttons there, toggle. You can also turn, whenever you turn down, just a little tip, you can change the color. Of course, it's uh, LED here, as you can see, RGB. You just press the T here, turbo, and then press them. And as you can see, um, it's changing the color, right? You can also do that here on the other side, just, um, you know, when you turn it on, hold the T and press like the R3, and it's gonna change the color of that rainbow stuff, right? <laughs> RGB. But that's about it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have any thoughts, any questions about this one. I'm going to put the description uh, or the link down in the description so you can check that out. I believe it's already available in Data Blitz and some other store there. So I'm going to put their links uh, down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. I unbox and review stuff like this. But that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you on my next one. Peace.